I don't know what happened, y'all. My, my, I don't know if my, my, my application just, um, maybe my app updated. I don't know what happened right there. Hmm. You never know when it comes to the book. All right, you guys are back. I don't know what happened. I was talking and then my, my app just closed out and it was done. Um, it's kind of weird. Not sure what happened there. I think it's still there with no problems. So let's look. It's probably showing I'm still alive. Hey, Kay. Hey, Kathy. I don't know what happened, y'all. I had a video glitch. Um, let's see what it says. In just or virtual. Go to the spark of events. Yeah, it just stopped. It didn't freeze. I hope you all come back. I don't know. Are you guys all back? I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. I was on a live. It's still showing that I'm live on that other one too. It just, um, yeah, Judy, if you can go back on that old one and just say, hey, she's re-live again, that would be great. Um, I don't know what happened. That was weird. Sparkle it out. Let people know we are, okay, you're back. That was weird. I don't know what happened. My whole app closed out, so I had to just start over again. Um, anyway, um, no, it's definitely not you, Laura. I don't, maybe my app updated. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened. So anyway, I'm glad you all are back and found me okay because it's still showing that I'm live. Yeah, once in a while, that's happened to me before. Um, so I'm not sure. But anyway, I was saying, um, yes, so the event's going to be amazing. I think um, I think Beth and Randy are coming to the event in Oklahoma, which is great because they. I think that's great for them that, you know, they can be surrounded by friends and our crafting family and really just like, you know, good therapy, good therapy. I'm glad you guys are back. Thank you. That was weird. Um, sparkle it out because I think people are still watching the other one wondering what the heck happened. So anyway, yes. Yeah, so I just wanted to, to clarify that. Um, I wanted to clarify that if, if you, if you're planning on coming to the sparkle retreat in Oklahoma in person, tickets are no longer going to be sold past today at midnight. So if you want to come to the in-person, you got to get your ticket today. Uh, but we still do, we still are selling a uh, virtual ticket. So guys get on it. You don't want to miss it. Um, just awesome, awesome stuff. And the virtual is going to be fabulous. It's the way that you're going to be able to watch the event behind the scenes, because that's going to be the only place to get it. I'm waiting about 10 people who still, um, have paid for a virtual ticket and are not in the private group. So if you have bought a ticket, maybe tomorrow I'll come on a live and read off everybody's names because um, they need to get in the group because that's where everything is going to be streamed into. So I know, Joy, I don't know what happened. It wasn't me. It was something, but I don't think it's skipping the sound as it's calling. That's on the old video, Meg. Yes, Nicole, for sure. Come to the next one. Carly, you sent me a message. Okay, perfect. Um, hope it stays on. You didn't miss nothing over there. So we were just chatting. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, what glue did I use? Cecile, I used, um, I used Weld Bond glue. I used Weld Bond glue. Um, and it works great on the clay molds. Now, I will say... Um, what you're giving. I look like Heather Locklear today. That's a new one. Usually it's Jennifer Aniston, but I'll take, I'll take Heather Locklear. Um, so as you can see, the molds stuck on great. I know it's kind of hard to see. They're great. Now this one cracked. This big one cracked right here in the middle, but I'm not worried about it because um, we're just filling it in with paint anyway. Um, shows your live. I missed your craft items for the auction. Do you still have pictures? I don't know. Wish I could go. Wish I'd love to be there. Vicki, you can always come virtually. Um, uh, from Unique. Is it from Palette 3, Beloved? I don't know. It's the purples. It's like a white, a purple, like a brownish, and then another purple, I think. Or a white, a frosted, and then like a brownish or a taupe, and then a purple. Um, but it's a quad. Um, uh, what else did somebody ask me? I forgot. Um, I did post a picture of what I made yesterday. 
Um, hello, Lisa. Hey, Elizabeth. So I did post a picture of what I made yesterday for the event. I posted that on my page yesterday. So make sure you guys are on the notifications to get posts and lives and all that stuff. Um, anyway, so we have our water pitcher. I'm not worried about that crack, but I'm glad we decided not to paint it until, hey, Sally, I'm glad we decided not to paint it until, um, until, until after it dried. Uh, Lori, you were gifted a ticket. Uh, message me, Lori, and I will send you a link to the group because I don't think that you're in there. So uh, just message me and I'll send you the link to join the group. Um, when you're using molds with clay and stuff like that, you don't want to use hot glue because hot glue has a thickness to it. So you want to use that weld wand. It's flat. Thank you, Candy, for the stars. Um, I did. I got my hair colored yesterday because, you know, we're going on our trip on Tuesday. So I, I colored my hair. Um... So anyway, let's paint this thing. I think what we're gonna do, guys, I I don't I want to keep the silver pitcher. I don't really want to paint all the silver. So I think what I'm gonna do is, thank you, Pam. I oh yeah, that's another thing, guys. We still have some totally dazzled um, royal funky junk packs available. They are once they're sold out, they will be no longer. So you guys want to get go to totally dazzled. I did also a post on it. Will take you to a direct link. Or you can go to Totally Dazzle on my link tree and just type in Royal Funky Junk and this pack will come up. This is a, a collaboration that I did with Totally Dazzle. I handpicked by me all these beautiful gems. Fleur de Lis, a cameo, a horseshoe, all the things, a little a red bird for my brother. So you guys get these while they're last because once they're gone, they're gone. So don't wait. I'm telling you, go get yourself some. Um, because they'll never be available again. I'm going to cry when they're all gone. I'm not going to be able to... Uh, open one. I have to keep it as like a keepsake, you know? Um, oh, you like them? Do you got them today? That's awesome. Hi, Terry. Thank you for the stars. So anyway, I'm going to start out, I think with just some black paint and then I'm going to build it with some enamels because I, um, I just, I don't really want to paint the silver. Vicki, you can't wait to get yours. The crafting community, Cecile, is like no other. I'm telling you, I just was saying that on the live that got, you know, wonky and cut off that there's really nothing like it it's completely like it's just amazing what the community came together and did I think I am going to mix a little bit of paint in there like this this one do you believe what tv put in the auction oh my gosh I you know how bad I wanted to bid on that myself but I was like no I'm an affiliate I'll be a good girl I'll let somebody else get it because I want to know what the, I don't even know what the new thing is. Cool color show with the green earrings. Uh, probably, I saw them all. Oh, uh, Terry, yes, go get yourself a pack then, Terry, because they are, um, I have a red bird. I included a red bird in my, in my Totally Dazzled pack in honor of my brother. So as you can see, this color, I used Paint Pixie metallic onyx and I mixed in a little bit of the paint pixie metallic new penny color uh I need to get packed ASAP but really wanted pins on back of your design oh yeah I see I never use the pins um so I chose to do flat backs because usually I don't I, I always take the pins out uh thank you Linda so see how it kind of has that I think it's gonna match that silver pretty well. Um, oh, Karen, you get yours tomorrow. I'm gonna get paint on the ruffle. Good call. And I wore my, I wore some jewel tones colors today to complement my shirt. So all I'm gonna do um, is just go over these. And guys, I gotta put my readers on because you know I'm blind as a bat. I got new readers, aren't they cute? I got these on Amazon, y'all. Um, I'm just going to paint right around all this clay. And guys, start telling me when it gets to be like 250, 255, because then I'm going to have to leave you. Because I got to take Jack this stuff before he leaves to go to his football game. Um, I think I'm actually going to use a little bit of a smaller brush. Yeah, that's better. So see how I'm just kind of dabbing that in all those little nooks and crannies and see it kind of, I did so good at color matching. 
Can you purchase pins and clips and Michaels? I'm sure you can, Clara. I bet you can. That for sure. I know Hobby Lobby, probably back in their jewelry department, they probably have a boatload of stuff that you can make um, anything that you want. So this was my whole goal with this piece was to get, um, to kind of keep it in the same color as the picture because I like the old, um, oh, that's so cool, y'all, right? Jack is back. He is only in non-contact right now in two weeks. If his team is still um, in the playoffs, he will be allowed to play in a game. Um, but his doctor wanted him to have two more weeks to a total of eight weeks since he broke his collarbone. Um, but he feels great. You know, he's, his shoulder's good. We had an x-ray on Tuesday. Um, oh my gosh. Seriously, this is better than what I thought. Um, so he's just, he's allowed to practice with absolutely zero contact. So, and his doctor works closely with the football team. So there's no chance of him not listening because his doctor is always on the sidelines who did his surgery. Um, if you're in my area, it was Dr. James Leland, amazing human being from University Hospital here in Northeast Ohio. One coat coverage with this Paint Pixie paint and just make sure you dab it all in those little cracks and crevices. And it almost looks like it's the same kind of finish, isn't it? This was clay. Um, so see, you can, and I chose to go with the steampunk mold, but there's so many molds out there that you could have transformed this picture with flowers, with fleur-de-lis, um, IOD, uh, would you been, they all have fabulous things that you can go and purchase to make molds and but I have to say guys my favorite clay and I'm not you know I'm just getting better at clay uh, my favorite clay is the Jovi clay from uh, TH Decor ATL look at how good that looks like it was it looks metal it looks to be the same sheen um, as the picture and that's what I was going for So I'm just kind of pressing it all into, and even if I get a little bit on the outer edge of the mold, that's fine. The color is spot on. I'm even, I, I'm, I'm kind of even impressed that I color matched it that well. And as you can see when it's, when you're, when you're, that's why I'm kind of pressing it down into, into and all around the molds. It's such a good color, and I might even dry brush some of this color right onto the picture. I don't know, but so again, that those two colors to get this tarnished silver look um, was Paint Pixie Metallic Onyx, and see this crack in that mold. I think it's going to be completely unnoticeable because you can't even see it. You don't even know where it's at. I missed a couple of spots. I'll go back over it. I mean, I'm, I'm just getting started. I'll go back over it and, and get what I missed. Um, it's probably going to require two coats on the bigger parts, and I'm trying to just shove my brush into, into um, everything, and it dries super fast. I love the Paint Pixie Metallic paint line. It's amazing. I'm so excited. They're going to Paint Pixie is going to be at our event. Um, so I get to meet Josie. So excited for that. So see, I'm just kind of dabbing that all down in there. And you got to look at it from every angle to make sure you're getting in all those little nooks and crannies. And then going over those flat parts again with a second coat. I think that looks fabulous. It is a little bit darker, but like I said, I think I might even just dry brush a little bit of this paint over the entire surface just to kind of blend that in. And then I think when we highlight this with some rub and buff, I still don't know what color I want to highlight it with. It's going to be fabulous, darling. 
Oh, Karen, I'm in Northeast Ohio. I'm near Cleveland. I'm near Cleveland. Okay, so you don't need a lot of paint, but like I said, just dab it all in there. Get a little short brush. What are y'all doing this weekend? Anybody doing fun stuff? Today I'm running around like a chicken. I paid bills this morning and did payroll for my husband's company and all that good stuff. Um, look at how stinking cute this is. I'm trying to keep it as tight as I can to the mold. But like I said, I think I might just dry brush some of that to cover that up. Seriously, all isn't that adorable? It looks like metal too, which I'm loving that. I have tried form flex again. I'm kind of an impatient person. I don't want to have to wait, make something and then stick it in my refrigerator or freezer. So, um, it was a little hard for me to put this down and decide to let's paint it on a different live, but I have to say, I'm glad we did because had we painted it and then it cracked after it dried, it would have, then I would have had to go back and touch up. So I think when we're using clay on bigger pieces like this, it probably is best to um, let it dry thoroughly and then come in and paint it. Oh, Candy, I'm so excited. Candy's coming. I know what Candy's outfit is. I'm, uh, me and Michael are try. I have to pack my costume. So I think me and Michael are going to be trying a little try on. I think we're going to be doing a little, um, dress up later. So if we do, I'll show you a little, I'll, I'll throw you a little tidbit. Um, but everybody's getting super excited for this costume ball. It's been a long time since I dressed up for Halloween. So I'm so looking forward to this party. Oh, you're working on a new crafting station. Uh, yeah, Katie, I use the steampunk mold. You can find it on my uh, Amazon store under crafting essentials. Um, you can find my Amazon store in my link tree. It's, I think it's by Stampere. I got it on Amazon and uh, it's a plastic mold. It's not a silicone mold. Um, so you definitely don't want to use hot glue. Don't use, don't make a hot glue mold with the plastic. We tried it the other day and uh, it was a fail. It will not pop out. It, it melts. So, but you can use clay on it. Um, this is a really cute mold too. I happened to see this on Pinterest and I was like, I have to have that. So I've been in a steampunk mode lately, y'all. Don't know why, but I have been. And today I have to run some errands. I have to go to Hobby Lobby. I've got to get some. I've got to go to the UPS store. I've got some stuff to return before I leave. Um, so I'm just dabbing that in there and then kind of going back over the flat parts with another coat. This is going to be so adorable. And then we're going to fill it in. I think the color is really good. It's not matchy matchy, but I think when we start bringing out all the detail, and I think I am gonna go, maybe I will paint the whole picture or just dry brush some of it together. But see, when you paint it, painting is what, you know, kind of covers up all your little imperfections, so to speak, of your molds, which kind of works out great. And you can get really jiggy with this. I mean, we could do all different kinds of colors on here to bring out all this design. It doesn't have to be strictly metal. I kind of wanted to keep it more steampunky um, metal rather than going in with color. Even though I love color, but... Color I like to do like more springtime, Christmas. I'm more of a, I don't want to say plain, but when I get a vision in my head, I don't like to veer away from my vision. All right, so we have all of the pieces painted. I think that looks cool, but you can see where I went around it. So that's where I think I'm just going to take a little bit of this paint, just a little bit. Remember, it's a metallic paint. And I think I'm just going to blend 
all that. You guys see that? You can still see the patina of this silver through there, but do you see where I just painted that? That's paint. This is original. So see, you still get that glossy. I think I'm going to go and do the whole thing like that. I'm kind of, I wasn't planning on it, but it almost matches perfectly. It's kind of incredible. And I'm just doing a really light coat. I'm not even going to do too much to the feet. It's just kind of covering up but it still looks like the vintage silver. It's really bizarre, but I liken it. I like the effect that it's giving. Can you guys see? Let me see, what's painted? I gotta figure out what's painted. That's painted right here, and this is not. See the difference? But it just kind of blends more, and I'm hoping to God I have enough paint. I'm gonna need to hold the handle. It's almost like smears off. It's almost like translucent because the paint is thin, but it's still giving the illusion that it's the original silver. See guys, you try something new. Who would know? Who would have thought, right? This is kind of stinking cool. I'm digging it like a lot. I'm getting down to the nitty gritty here on my paint. And that's going to even hide any more imperfections even better. You'll never know that I painted the, the molds look like they belong, like they came on this picture. Make sure I got not this little area in here. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm going to do a little bit of the feet. It still gives it that... That's why I love this paint, Pixie metallic paint. Look at that. That's paint, y'all. Yes, I'm gonna highlight the pieces for sure, but look at that. That's Doesn't it look like the vintage silver? That is too stinking cool. I am, I think, even gonna do the handle just to make it all cohesive. This is gorgeous. So guys, go get yourself some paint, Pixie paint. Because you could probably take any old piece of silver. Oh, I've got like ideas swarming my head right now. This is like something new. See, I'm excited. Because this is not, I who would have thought? I love this. And I love the look of old vintage silver, don't get me wrong. But adding the mold and then adding just that thin coat. Wow. It looks like it's always been like that, right? Oh my gosh, this is like really, really cool. Did I get there? Get a little bit there. Wow, I can't wait to, is Paint Pixie in the house? Is she watching? I want her to see this. This is so cool. Can you see that? Up? Do you see it? You still see the metal. It's almost so, but it just blends it. And here I got a little heavy around the balloon, but that's okay. Don't sweat the small stuff, y'all. I thought it blended perfectly. Now, what color do we highlight? Let me try that handle so I can pick it up. The paint is from Paint Pixie, Claudia. You can find it in my link tree. It's Paint Pixie Metallic, and this color to get this that matched that silver, that vintage silver I used... Um, the paint pixie and metallic paint in the color onyx and then i mixed a little bit of the metallic paint pixie in new penny i love it i love their metallic paint so much so now oh my gosh this is so stinking cool i don't even know if i want to add anything else to it because i was thinking we'd add all these cool things to it you know these other oh we could but i don't know even know if it needs it I did do the spout on top up here. I'm not going to do it inside because I think I'm going to put flowers in here. Um, so now, the only thing that I think I want to do is highlight. Do we highlight with Rub and Buff Antique Gold? Do you think Antique Gold or do we do Silver? It looks like metal, I know. 
it looks like it, it was, it looks like it's literally on there. It looks like it was bought like this. It's really flipping cool. Sometimes I get myself excited. Like when I see something come together and it looks better than what I thought in my head, it's kind of exciting. Um, all right, so we can try a couple of different colors. I have antique gold. You know me, I love my rub and buff. I gotta try these mica powders too that somebody sent me. I gotta figure out how to use them. Um, or I think I have, I thought I had silver. Oh, I do, and I have silver. I'm kind of thinking silver, but I don't know. Let's try both, guys. Let's try both. We don't know until we try, right? Thank you, Brian, for the stars. Um, we can even do, let's try both. Here's silver. That's a little too much. I don't know. Because it, it has brass. I have gold. That's my new one. I don't want to use that one. Or I could even try look like they're metal paint. I know the color came out perfect. Mix silver and black rub and buff. I have black and I have silver. I could add a little bit of black to that. Let's see what silver looks like. I don't know if that'll be too bright. Thank you, Cheryl. I'm having a great hair day. All right, let's just do one little thing over here. And then you guys could tell me we can do a mixture of both. Mm, not crazy about the silver, I won't lie. And then, let's see, the great thing about that is we could just paint over it. So I'm doing little tiny pieces. And then here's the gold. Let's do another little gear over here. Oh, see, I'm digging the gold. But we could do both. I kind of like the gold. I think I'm going to take whatever paint I have left on this little piece of tray, paper plate, and let's cover that up. Yeah, I don't know if I liked. Silver looks white. Uh, Deborah, for the virtual, you want to go into my link tree and then click on click on the Sparkle Room Retreat. Click on that, and when you get to that website, it'll take you, or go to sparkleroomevents.com. It'll take you, click on purchase your tickets, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. And um, uh, it'll, it'll say online experience. It's $99. Get it now. Like silver matches the feet. I like the I like the gold. I'm a more of a gold. You guys know me. I'm more of a gold person than I am silver. Most of the stuff is silver. So all I'm gonna do is kind of highlight the stuff that is raised. That's why I like using my finger. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. See, I love this. It's like watching. It's like. Look at how cool he's coming to life with his little monocle. Let's get all down here. And this clay dried perfectly. It's it's like it's hard. It's not, it's done cracking and doing whatever it's doing. And I'm just getting in there with my finger, just highlighting anything that I feel needs it. Seriously, how adorable. We can even go around him with a brush if we wanted to. It's very bronzy. If I go with gold and mix gold and black for a calmer gold, I like the bright. I like this is my favorite rub and buff is the antique gold. But look at all that. It's going to bring this little dude, this little, whatever, this little. This thing reminds me of like Beauty and the Beast, something her dad made. Or remember that? I love this. Oh, wait till it's finished, y'all. And I got time. I'm, I'm rushing through this one, but we're going to do it. I had been waiting to finish this thing. And being um, that the events for Beth and Randy were going on, I did not come live to finish all that just because we wanted 
you know, to keep people on the event. Oh, I love this. See, I know, hey, Mike T. Dominico's in the house. Say hi to Big Daddy, everybody. Tell Mike, tell Big Daddy he needs to take me to dinner tonight because, you know, I cooked all week long. I think. Look at how great that turned out. This is so cute. If you love the steampunk, I have been doing a lot of steampunk lately. A steam trunk product line. Wouldn't that be awesome? Is Sally still in the house from Would You Bend? Um, Sally, are you listening? I think we should collaborate and come up with a Royal Funky Junk steampunk line of Would You Bend products. <gasps> Can you guys see it now? Would that not be amazing? I just dipped my finger in silver. I'm getting excited for all the uh, the possibilities. Hey, Shelly, what's up, sister? Okay. Yes, I think some Would You Bend would be, do great with some steampunk line to it. A little Royal Funky Junk Flare. Oh, uh, Didi, you guys are so. Oh, Didi, I had to tell you, I'm digging your magazine too, girl. I, Didi sends me out her magazine every quarter. I love it. Always got good stuff in there. I enjoy reading. Now, if you want, you can even go around the sides here. Just be careful because you don't want it to get it all over. If you really wanted to highlight those gears, you can. Look at that. We got a couple more. We're doing great on time. And I'm still going to make it to the school in time to get Jackie his stuff. Just do a little bit down his hat right there inside. All right, so now what I want to do, because I think it would be cool. Look at how cool that looks. It looks like you bought it. I am going to take a brush, okay? And I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to take a bunch of the wax. And I'm going to brush the feet. How big are your... Hey, Clara. Oh, I can't wait, Colleen. Okay, so... I'm taking this uh, antique gold rubbing buff and watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and I'm going to fill in the feet of this watering can. To really bring all that bronze together. Oh yeah, why not, right? He is a good man. He said mishmash at six. Oh, well, alrighty then. Okay. I'm a lucky girl. All right, so I'm just using, and I'm using a brush because I'm, I'm almost like painting on the anti gold rub and buff. Seriously, you can't you can't beat it. You can't beat it. And you can even get your brush, you know, around the little edges here a little bit better if that's what you wanted to do, rather than your finger. Because sometimes your you know my finger is too big. Um, I'm doing the handle too. Yes, the handle is going to get gold. And then when this is dry tomorrow, I will clear coat this with a coat of Duraclear. Duraclear will not take off the rub and buff. If you were to put Mod Podge over this, it would it would take this right off, but the Duraclear will not. I'm going to go over his sides just a little bit more on him to get right down in there where my finger couldn't get. Oh my gosh, sometimes I just get so excited because it comes out better than what I thought it was going to be. And then, and think of all the cool things. You know what else would be cool? Like some would you bend in a, in a, uh, you know, like a, what do you call it? Uh, Alice in Wonderland motif. I can dig that. 
I'm gonna have to reach out to my good friend Sally and see what she says about that. I think that would be cool. I think people would love it. Okay, so I'm doing the back of the legs also just because wherever it's gonna be sitting. And I think I'm gonna throw, just so when I take a picture of it, it'll be pretty. I think I'm gonna throw some of those dried hydrangeas that are in my yard. And I think I'm gonna display those in here for picture purposes and see what it looks like. So you can just get your brush and all those little nooks and crannies that you might have missed. And and the details are in the mold. You don't really need to you don't really need to add too much more. Probably add a little bit of bling. Just make sure you get everything that you want covered covered. Look at how good that looks. I'm digging it. All right. Look at that. It kind of all flows. Imagine some flowers coming out of here. Till minutes to four minutes. So I got to go. I'm golden, guys. I'm going to do the handle with y'all. Let this dry. And like I said, I will give this a coat of DuraClear to keep everything on there just so it doesn't over time wear off. The DuraClear will seal, seal everything. And you can use DuraClear over the rub and buff. And I think I'm gonna give this a pretty full coverage coat over this handle rather than just highlight. I think I want it all matchy-matchy. See how well that goes over that? Just keep picking it up with your brush and filling it in. You can layer this to get it as heavy or as light as you want it. Amazing what we can do in an hour, right y'all? And still have time to chat? Okay. Yeah, so if me and Mike end up trying on our costumes tonight, I will do a story on that. Maybe do a post. Look at how pretty that's going to be. Wait a minute. Let me flip it around. Oh, isn't this gorgeous? Yeah. Um, oh, you're curious about the magazine. Dee Dee Schwab. I don't know if she has like a website y'all can go to and sign up for her thing. Or if it's, you got to be. Uh... It's got a great art section. It's always got like great recipes. I have like 10, I ripped out a whole bunch of pages from the last one because I want to make some stuff in there. They got a little section on decorating, a section on art, and um, a section on lifestyle and home. All kinds of good stuff. And Dee Dee, if you're ever looking for somebody, you know, that you want to write about, hey, I'll give you an interview. I think that would be the coolest thing ever. I've never been in a magazine before. Um, okay, so I did get a little bit of rub and buff right here. So all I'm going to do is take that brush with the paint and just kind of like try to cover that up. If not, you know how we get that off? Clear wax will take off. Watch. Rub and buff. Well, oh, that's dark wax, but I think it's one and the same. Probably would work too. Yep. Wax takes off rub and buff. I will show you for sure. I think we have to try because I have to pack it. I need to start getting my butt ready. And I think I'm even going to throw some gold up here on this pretty little spout right here. Just to showcase that off. And when I come back home after running Jack and running my errands, I will post a picture of this with the flowers inside of it. But I think, guys, this was, it's better than what I thought it was. The old vase uh, came from, um, came from probably the Goodwill. Oh my gosh, look at that's paint, pixie paint, that y'all. 
And look at that. So we did it. I think this is adorable. And you know what? If you wanted to, you can even take, um, you can even do, um, I had this one little thing I was wanting to put on here. Like take some gems. Thank you. I know I have enough time. But you can even, you know, we could add on to this, you know, stuff like that. You could put it up here. Um, maybe I could put that right on that crack. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Even though you don't really see it, but you know, it's got to have, it's got to have my signature bling, right? It has to have my signature bling. I feel like if a piece doesn't have bling on it, it's just not a royal funky junk piece then, you know? I kind of get a little weird about it. All right, so let me just hold that there. It's kind of like, you know, the train, like a bug on a train. Just hold that there till that glue dries. It's gotta have my signature bling. Hi, Janet. Hey, Pat. Leslie's like, I wouldn't add it on. I'm like, yeah, I am. Here, 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 here. I'm doing it, y'all. I think it looks cool. And it's a little silver, so I don't mind. You know me, I, I mix my metals. I kind of like it on there. Look it. It's kind of cool. It's different. It's it's steampunk. That's what it's for. Um, the bling, I think, came from Hobby Lobby. Back in their steampunk, they have like in the jewelry section. Awesome, Deborah! I'm so excited. Yeah, this I think it's perfect there. And then if you want, you know, I think some of these too came from Hobby Lobby. But you can take like old jewelry. Like I have an old earring that I only have one of. It's kind of, you know, um, in a study or a library. Yeah, it's kind of got like that old world touristy. You can take these little gears. These are plastic pieces. Um, but you can build. I don't know that I would... Guys, I can't see anything without my glasses. It's horrible. I don't think that I would want to add any more. I kind of like it with the clay because it really showcases the piece and it's got my signature bling on there. So, hey, Chris Hunter. So I think this turned out amazing. And that paint, that's it, Paint Pixie. Look at it. It looks like real metal. I flipping love it. That's the metallics. That was the inside. So see, it almost matched. But isn't this adorable? Chris Hunter, everybody was just saying what an amazing event we did yesterday. And a big shout out too to Tracy at My Sweet Home. She canceled her craft around the clock yesterday to, to also share those videos into craft around the clock. So this was a huge collaboration. Sparkle Room, craft around the clock, the crafty peep, the Memphis Bells. So many people over three days turned out to be amazing. And uh, we did good, y'all. Anyway, guys, I got two minutes and I got to run up to the school. Um, yes, paparazzi jewelry. Claudia, you love steampunk. It's like around the world in 80 days meets 10,000 leaves under the sea. Yeah, so this is just cool. I'm going to go grab some of those flowers and I'm going to stick them in there. And then, like I said, I will um, use DuraClear. I think I want the DuraClear that is... Um, now, you know what, actually, I might use, I might use the Paint Pixie Force Field. It's got a really nice satin sheen to it. Um, but yeah, I think it's perfect the way it is. I don't think I'd add any more gears. It just looks kind of fun and funky. Um, it was an amazing three days, too. So I think with the flowers, it'll be pretty. I will take a picture. Um, but see, that kind of looks like the front of a train almost. It's kind of cool. It's like, you know, bug splatter. Oh, glad to find a fellow blinger. That's my problem. Yes, Chris, I told them that today is the last day for the in-person ticket. So you guys go get it. If you're thinking about coming to the in-person event, you got to get on it. And you want to get your virtual tickets too, guys. I don't know how long they'll be available. I don't know how many are available, but you want to get it before, before the event comes. Don't wait till the last minute. Everybody did amazing. Uh, truly amazing. We cried a lot. We laughed a lot. And I hope that it brought Beth and Randy and their family a little bit of peace knowing that they, you know, have something from all of us, um, that 
you know, and that their granddaughter can have the start to a college fund because that's so important. Um, looks like it would be very expensive. I think it looks fabulous. And it looks like you, honestly, it looks like it's all metal. It looks like it was made like that. I love it. I love the old world colors. I'm glad we didn't do the silver. Um, anyway, y'all get to the goodwill and I'll be back on tomorrow. I've got a crazy busy day tomorrow getting ready to, but I want to show you what I picked up at the goodwill the other day. Maybe we'll do a fun little project with one of those real quick. And, um, so yeah, I'm pretty much open tomorrow, but I am going to be running around like a crazy woman packing and, uh, getting everything ready. Oh, and remind me, somebody sent me a message. I need to order another pirate cup for my costume. I have a ticket. How do I know how to sign in? Judith, you have a ticket for the in-person or for the uh, virtual? If you have a virtual ticket, you guys got to join the group. It's the Sparkle Room Crafting Retreat 2022. Um, hey, there's Nicole. Do the lamp. I know, right? Um, uh, you guys enjoy yourself too, but join the Sparkle Room Crafting Retreat 2022 group. It's a private group on Facebook. If you have a, a virtual ticket or an in-person ticket, I'm waiting about 10 people who have virtual tickets to get in that group. And I have emailed you, I have messaged you. So check your spam, check your others folder. Um, and then you join that group. And once we verify your purchase, you're in the group. So message me if you have any questions, message Chris Hunter. Um, do all the things to get in that group before the before it comes. Yes, PM me. I'm sorry, Marshall. There's always next year, but I hope you look forward to seeing the pictures that come from it. Um, anyway, I got to run up to the school, y'all. I love you all. I will see you guys tomorrow. And be on the lookout for my stories today, because if we do costume try on tonight, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. Have a great sparkly day, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye.